What's going on guys? Tanner back here bringing you another video. What I got for you guys today is we're going to be talking a little bit about the updated PT regulations and standards and what they're going to be doing with the PT test for the Air Force for the next coming months. This is mainly going to be for people who are active duty, but if you're coming into active duty right now or you're at tech school, this will apply to you as well. And it's nice to know when you're coming into if you have not gone to basic already, because some of these things are going to be implemented for mainly in the future as well. So we're going to go over this. I have an article right here on my phone. I'm going to display it on the screen so you guys can tag along with me as I read this. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So the other day, I believe the date was September 16th, the Air Force Magazine published an article called Air Force PT Testing Delayed Until January 1st of 2021. Now, a lot of you at basic training, you still have to do your PT test. This is for active duty members. This part is for active duty. There's a part for you guys in the coming back end of the article. But I saw this article and it applies to me because I'm active duty. I'm getting out in 2021. I don't test till August of 2021. So I was trying to figure out what they're really doing with the PT standards to see if I need to be, you know, ready to go earlier than anticipated. So let's read this article real quick. So the Air Force will not resume physical fitness testing across the service until at least January 1st of 2021, as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to impact the military top service leaders announced. So at least 2021, January 1st is when testing will resume as of right now. As of right now, it can change because it's been changing for months. The service early in the pandemic suspended PT testing and repeatedly delayed resumption until October 1st. Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Joanne S. Bass, said September 16th that the new target is January 1st and the service is also determining what PT testing will look like in the future. So, uh... Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, uh, Bass, she replaced Chief Wright. She came out and said that, you know, it's going to resume January 1st, and they're looking for ways to you know, make testing better and improve it for the future. She went on to say, that's really for the safety of our airmen and all across our Air Force. Every installation is kind of in its different COVID environment, so it just makes sense to do so, Bass said. However, as airmen, I would like to see us at a place where we're not so much focused on PT tests as we are more about fitness and readiness so that it is a continued message that we push out as leaders, which is we need a fit force, we need a ready force, and we need airmen who are doing that regardless of a PT test. So there's people who, you know, don't get good grades or good scores on test because they can't run as fast, but they max out push-ups and sit-ups. And then there's people who are in shape and they can run really fast and they do good on the run, but they're not as good as push-ups push and sit-ups. So, you know, they, they're understanding those different things. So they're trying to figure out a way to test and have a test and determine your readiness and things like that and make it better, which everyone's been saying since they implemented like this new version of PT test, however long ago it was, I don't really remember, but it's nice to see that they're actually trying to make strides here. She went on to say, the decision to push the testing timeline back is largely because October 1st is coming quickly, which is now I believe six days away, eight, nine days away, nine days away. And at the time when both Bass and Chief of Staff General, uh, General Charles Q. Brown Jr. are just beginning in the job. So they just came into their positions and with this stuff coming up really quick, we got nine days till October 1st, which is absolutely insane. This year has gone by so quickly, but they want to make sure that everything is good to go. They don't, you know, they don't want a bunch of messes. They just stepped into their positions and it's understandable. So not much of a chance for us to assess and kind of put his timestamp on kind of the way forward, Brown said. The other aspect is we're basically two weeks away from one October. So we want to give the Air Force fair warning on when we're going to start again. And then we can play in the different aspects because we have to do it in a different environment. So it's nice to know that, you know, they want you to know, hey, we're going to push it back expect people who failed or you know got an eight or uh, an 89 or below you will have to test but they're letting you know just that january 1st they can start testing you at any moment so you need to be ready come january 1st for example the air force cannot do the waist measurement so currently right now waist measurement is not happening on any pt test and it won't be i'm pretty sure they're doing it the same way at basic because of the six foot thing they don't want someone up on you and that makes sense so no waist measurement so we're basically going to give everybody full credit for weights, waist measurement, but airmen can still run, do push-ups, and do sit-ups in the COVID-19 environment. So you won't have to worry about your waist. You'll automatically get your 20 points, which is cool for some people, you know, who have a 36, 37-inch waist, and you can still run and do push-ups. You're going to get your max points. That's awesome. 
you know, your waist, your waist measurement should not determine whether or not you're in shape. But uh, airmen can still... So that gives our airmen enough time to prepare themselves, and they're not surprised, Brown said. But I'll tell you, most of them are working out anyway. People are still staying fit, which is true. We just want to make sure that we move into this and give them fair warning on when we're going to start up again and not catch our airmen by surprise. So basically what they're saying is they're going to, you know, suspend it out because they don't want to rush anything. They want to make sure everything is in place. New year, new me, you know, kind of thing. But they want to make sure that everyone, you know, is got a readiness. You know, they they understand that it's coming. That time is coming up very, very quickly. And they want everyone to pass. They don't want you to fail. It seems that these two have really put it together and they're trying to make it the best environment possible for people who are enlisting or currently active because everyone has their own different struggles. They want to make sure that you're there. One thing that I did note in another article, it was not in this specific one, but in the future, they're talking about getting rid of the waist measurement altogether because they feel it doesn't define how fit you are. Like I stated before, it's just a way to say, Hey, I have a smaller waist. Some people don't have, you know, the smallest waist. I think right now I'm probably at like a 37 inch waist and you know, I can still do my pushups, my sit-ups and I can run, you know, I'm not going to have a 93 right now. Like I did last test. I'll probably have like an 88, probably lose a little bit. Um, but you know, it, it doesn't determine how fit you are. It really doesn't, you know, it's that's, that's one thing that I'm glad they're taking away and they're looking at restructuring the whole entire PT test all together. They're looking at just completely rebranding it and trying to find a new way to test airmen to test their readiness, like it said in the article. But that's going to offer today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, please smash the like button. Uh, I'm trying to bring as much of this content to you as possible. So let me know if there's anything that you're curious about, you know, what you want to see next, and I'll bring it to you as fast as possible. When I saw this article, I tried to get it out to you as fast as I could. I had a video coming for you guys on Sunday. Sunday, I ended up working a 12 hour shift. And then Monday, I put a video out. And then yesterday, I was going to try to put a video out, but I got a staple in my tire. And I had to go all the way to Roseville. It's an hour drive there, an hour drive back to get my tire patched. Thankfully, I was able to get it done. And yeah, so look for more videos coming in the next few days. Probably you'll have one tomorrow, the following day, so on and so forth. Keep pumping out that content. That's going to offer today's video, guys. Leave a comment on what you want to see next. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on the post notification bell to know when we post a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I love you all. Stay safe and have a great day. Love I got a feeling you niggas don't like me. I'm talking vacation. This shit can get pricey. They know I'm the goodest. My nigga, that's Nike. I do what I do. I just do it like Nike. Needed some help. She started twerking. She said it is mine. If I go put the work in, I secured the bag and I bought her a Birkin. No, I can't swim, so I drown in the ocean. This is the mask I'm doing the most. They praying I fall.